dream with me Let your mind explore All the things we were created for Possibilities and open doors That keeps us reaching out
morning lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it is all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers so i pretty much started the vlog off with date night this week me and babe went to art walk art walk jacksonville it's in downtown jacksonville and it's just um basically you walk around downtown jacksonville and you have artists display you know their work there's food vendors down there you have other people selling um other type of products so that's what we did this week it's the first wednesday of every month and we had been trying to go the last few months but it either rained or i had something to do or whatever the case may be but the weather was really really nice so we had a nice time we actually after we you know did did some walking around we went to a restaurant called Bellwether and we had like a drink and some appetizers and stuff like that. So if you are in Jacksonville, check Art Walk out. I think it'll probably be even nicer once the time goes for and we have more daylight. But it was a nice culture date. Um, we enjoyed it. I don't know if we're going to go next month, but that's pretty much what you've seen at the beginning of the vlog. So it's actually a couple of days later because that was on a Wednesday it's not the top of the morning <laughs> i'm getting off to a little later start than i would like it's actually today is friday so once i got my son off to school i kind of came back home and laid laid down it's that time of the month so my energy is <laughs> draining so i'm kind of trying to get my energy up because i have a lot <laughs> going on this morning um i don't know if i told you guys but i am getting some chair rail molding going up the stairs so where my finger is i'm trying to where my finger is it's going to go basically all the way up the stairs and i don't know if you if you guys can tell but when i film i kind of pay attention to what you guys are seeing so you know i'm trying to basically create a beautiful angle in every area of my, of my home and just imagine how that is going to look with the with the um with the the uh i can't think of it child y'all know what i'm talking about it's the same thing in the living room it's gonna go up the stairs so the guy is coming to start on that i think it's going to be a two-day job i know a lot of you guys are really anticipating the backsplash um uh my invoice is paid we just got to set up a date uh, which Brian, he really, I'm going to be honest with y'all, me and Brian are friends. So he does these small jobs um, just because we have like, you know, a great <laughs> friendship. Brian does big jobs, like huge jobs, like $10,000 plus jobs. So um, he basically kind of fits me in. So I kind of have to work on his schedule. I could have gotten someone else to do it, but I want it brian to do it because he told me he said i would definitely make time for you so i basically have to get in where i fit in when it comes to brian because a lot of the jobs that he work on are bigger jobs than what i need um and i probably will do a big job when it comes to a bathroom renovation but right now i don't have anything big that needs to be done in regards to the besides the floors and he's going to do that as well so i just wanted to go ahead and start the vlog off once the contractor gets here of course i'll kind of show you guys how that looks um brian did this railing that you, i can't get my finger right but brian did this at the top of 2022 um and i didn't show a lot of you guys because it needs painting and i'm probably going to paint it myself once he's done once he's done with the chair rail molding I'm going to go in and do some touch-up paint myself um, because the guy, he said he, he doesn't paint. Other than that, I would let him do it while he's working on the stairs, but he said he's not a painter. But it's just like some touch-up areas, which I actually can take the time out and do myself. I may even have Babe help me. But once that's done, and I'll give you guys like a up-close view of the stairs um but it needs to be painted i may have him sand some areas because there's some areas that are rough areas that if he can sand it then i could just go over and paint it and then that part will be done 
So once he's get one he once he's get it together, Erica. Once he once he get here, I'll turn the camera back on. Right now, the kitchen is a mess. Lifestyle lovers, I need to get my whole entire life together. My flowers are dead dead as you can see i'm gonna throw these away and i'm gonna go to the florist in the morning and get me a fresh set of flowers for my oven them dishes piled up life is life but that's okay i'm still here i'm still breathing i'm still living so i got time to get it done so i'll check back in with you guys once the contractor gets here Good morning, lifestyle lovers. Happy Saturday. So today is Saturday. Um, I just dropped my son off. He has a step show in Lakeland, Florida today. So they're headed down to Lakeland. The contractor did not come yesterday. Um, it was a, a rainy, cold day yesterday, and he has to have um, an area to cut the wood for the trim but he could have did it in the garage. And so when he called me and told me um, he wasn't coming because of the rain, I told him, I said, well, you can you can use the garage. So um, he did not come, you know. Uh, I guess he didn't want to use the garage or didn't want, I don't know what the case was, but he's supposed to come this morning, um, which I'm kind of annoyed about. I'm gonna tell you lifestyle lovers, home renovations can start to get real ghetto. Okay, when you be dealing with other people and their time, you guys know some of the things that I have, have been through. Um, so, he's coming today, but now that pretty much blocked off my Saturday. Because I hadn't decided if I was going to ride down to Lakeland to the show, but but now it's not even a, an option. Um, let me see, where is this floor set? Because I got the... Is it... I got the okay it's down this way um and so now that's not even an option anymore so now that's no longer an option for me to go down to Lakeland I pretty much got to be confined to my house for a couple of hours because you changed the date remind you he gave me this date two weeks ago so if it was going to be a problem with the rain you should have been checking the weather. I don't know. I'm just aggravated that I kind of had to alter my Saturday. Um, so I'm headed to the florist, to a local florist to get me some fresh flowers because I kind of had to push the, the start time back because I had to drop my son off for one. And then I had some errands that I, that I needed to run, but I'm not going to worry about running them. I'm just going to get me some fresh flowers because I want some fresh flowers for my island. Um, and then I think me and Babe were gonna do a date night. We may try. Um, we may try a new restaurant. I'm not sure, but we plan. We are planning to do that later on this evening. So of course I'll take you guys along on date night. And that's all that is planned for right now. So um, so yeah. So I'll check back in with you guys once I get my flowers and. Get back to the house. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I made it back home. I just want to kind of give you guys an update. They have already started. The contractors have started on the on the chair we're molding. So to go all the way up till you get to this wall at the top. I don't know if I'm gonna continue it upstairs for right now. I'm just kind of focusing on the downstairs area. I know I will be changing that color. That is no longer my color. That was an accent wall, but that'll be changing sometime in the near future. But this is how it looks. I'm already loving it. If you guys can kind of, let me see. I know I look a mess y'all so don't pay no attention to me but just kind of see the view and then they're going to do picture boxes all the way up the stairs so it's it's going to look so good and I'm also going to ask them can I want this inch I want this to be curved 
you see how it's a box I'm trying to angle it so you guys can see what I'm talking about okay you see how that's a box I wanted to see how hard it will be to make it into into a curved entryway I don't know why I can't get this camera right a curved entryway so let me show you guys I did put my flowers together as well try to turn off some light in here so you can see my flowers so I went to the florist these are how the flowers turned out so just to kind of show you guys what I have these are white hydrangeas typically they do not have these she said they go really quick these are green hydrangeas and these are blue hydrangeas so this is my pop of color I got six bunches of hydrangeas but it's not as full as I would like it to be so I think next time I'm gonna go with eight if you guys can see this space right here I probably could have used another two bunches and these are bells of Ireland but it looks so good I love it I love flowers on my island that is gonna be a staple in my home so these are how they are bunched together so I think that's why if I have four on this side, I think next time I'm going to get an additional two. So if I, if I haven't told you guys already, I go to the florist to get my flowers. I do not get them from the grocery store simply because I like to know a little bit about the flower. The last flower that I, the last time that I went to the florist, I bought some stargazing lilies that was the name of it I told you guys on the last vlog they started to smell like pee after a while and um and the, the floor she did confirm that she said she said the first few days they have a nice fragrance but after that it you know it started it smelled like pee to me that was the only way that I could describe it but those are called called stargazing lilies um, but they, I like to, you know, just know a little bit about the type of flower that I'm getting. I know I went to another florist, which is a larger florist here in Jacksonville. And the lady was asking me, you know, what type of arrangement that I wanted for my island. And I was, I was telling her I wanted something, you know, very fresh, very, uh, very elegant looking. And she did tell me, which I was really surprised because I see a lot of people here on YouTube get the baby breaths, you know. So I was asking her about, you know, should I incorporate some baby breaths into my arrangement? And she said, baby breaths actually cheapen the look of your arrangement. So if you're going for something a little bit more elegant, a little bit more uh, fresh, she said you want to leave the baby breaths out because they kind of cheapen the look of the arrangement so ever since she told me that <laughs> i have not purchased baby breaths i know it's very common here on youtube so don't shoot the messenger i'm just telling you what the florist told me but it's just you know i just like to know a little bit about the flowers that i'm getting and there's more of a variety they have different color roses one time you guys know i got like a a deep deep blue rose um, but this is gonna be this is gonna be a routine for me because it just makes me happy It makes me feel good and I just want to do more of what makes me feel good So um, so I'll probably check back in with you guys once they're done. They say it's gonna be like four to six hours So um, during the time that they're here. I'm trying to do some editing video for um, My video my Sunday video for tomorrow. I'm done editing that so I'm waiting on that to upload and just try to do some content and clean my room. So once they leave, I'll probably go ahead and, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna close out the vlog, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the finished look once the contractors are done. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So I wanted to check in, check in with you guys real quick. I'm getting ready to get ready for date night cause I'm still looking a hot mess, but um, the contractors just left and um, I'm not going to say <laughs> I'm not happy. Uh, just to let you guys know I'm not happy. I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but it's not what I want. So he's going to have to come back. Um, he did have someone working with him and I understand, you know, people have to get paid. So I did give him a portion of, you know, what uh, he charged me I gave him a portion of what he charged me because I do understand that you know 
you have to pay your workers or whatever the case may be but i did not pay the full amount um because it's not really what i asked for so he's gonna have to come back at some point maybe next week um how he explained to me was the type of mold molding that he purchased because he purchased the materials i paid for them but he purchased the materials but Either he couldn't cut it or it's hard to cut it at an angle because I wanted an angle going up and it's like straight boxes. I'm going to show you guys so you can see it. It's like straight boxes going up. It's not at an angle, which is how I wanted it. I don't think it's going to be like a big fix, but um, that's not what I want. <laughs> so uh, you got to come back and fix it. So I was hoping to be excited and ready to show you guys, but I'm not. So this is pretty much the finished look as you can see it just it's boxes going straight up to the top of the stairs and then you have two boxes right at the top and then you have one right here and i wanted it to be at an angle i'll show you guys like a picture but i wanted it to be like a slant going up and it's not slanted like i want it to be they look a little large as a well so he had an inspiration picture um, and it doesn't look like the inspiration picture. And once he was done, I said, this doesn't look like the picture. And so, um, so it has to be fixed and it's probably going to be painted. So it'll probably be all this will be white going up as well. I don't think it's going to stay gray like that. So yeah, I was excited to show you guys, but it's, it's not, it's not what I wanted. So whatever, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for, um, for date night so I'll check back in with you guys um once I'm ready uh -uh. what is that okay lifestyle lovers I'm ready for date night girl these eyebrows oh they look a mess I don't know if I told you guys but I am going to get my eyebrows microbladed they are very very thin and um i'm just waiting on my daughter to clear her schedule because she used to like do my eyebrows all the time so she knows the type like the, the design that i want it can't be too harsh for my face because i just like i have very soft features so it can't be like too dark they can't be too long they can't be too short it just has to have it has to be very precise and so she has to come with me and i'm just waiting on her schedule to get clear so we can have the same schedule but i kind of traced them and now i'm looking on camera child they don't look that good which reminds me i need to get my my own um, my mirror so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing i'm a little ahead which is a good thing well i pushed the time back we were supposed to meet at seven and i told babe let's push it back to eight we're gonna go to like a sushi restaurant um uh i am sharika b she's a jacksonville youtuber she always talks about this restaurant i think it's called a green papaya and they sell like thai food i believe but they also have soup sushi and like fish and you know any place that has seafood i'm good so we're gonna check that out we're gonna go there so i'm dressed real casual um this is what i'm wearing let's see i'm gonna bring you guys down so it's a two-piece skirt set and i just paired it with this denim kind of like like a denim button down it's really old this two-piece skirt set is from sweeney style boutique so this is how it looks like a fitted fitted skirt um and then for my shoes i am wearing my jordan ones these are my denim and white jordan ones i'm rocking those because i haven't worn these in a while then I have my E necklace, LV earrings, and so um, and then for my purse, I'm just gonna tote my Louis Vuitton niece, and I'm ready to get out the door. So what do I need? I need to get my compact mirror, and then once I get that, um, we'll probably just hang out. My son is coming back from Lakeland tonight. They'll they'll probably be back before 12 a.m. So we either we're gonna hang out until 
Mookie gets back and just pick him up from the step studio. Um, so maybe we'll find something to do after the restaurant lifestyle lovers, but I'll see you guys on date night. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I tried to fix my eyebrows. <laughs> I hope they look a little bit better because they're so damn thin. So I just kind of took the shaver, shaved them, and then I added a little bit of highlighting concealer to them. So hopefully they look a little bit better than what they were looking. Comment below. I know my eyebrows are not, not my strong suit, you know, which is fine. They're very thin, but I'm going to see if, um, you know, maybe the microblading will help. So I am planning to get that done within the next, um, within the next few weeks. But this is the face. I didn't go with any lashes. I just, I just didn't feel like putting them on. So I just did some mascara. Um, so I just skipped the lashes for tonight. And you can, you can really tell when you start wearing, wearing lashes and you decide you're going to go without them, it really does make a difference. But, um, but yeah, so let me get out the door, lifestyle lovers. So, um, see you at date night. <laughs>
Hey, lifestyle lovers. So me and babe are just getting in from date night. We went to green papaya and it was really, really good. We got the, um, I got the sea bass. He got the shrimp fried rice. We got a few, um, we got a few sushi rolls, but it was good. It was hard to choose because they had like a very wide selection. So we're planning to go back. So shout out to I am Sharika B for recommending. Green papaya, is it, it was really good. We had a few drinks, honey. And they actually had a Sprouts right next to the restaurant. So we had like a 30 minute wait. So we had like a 30 minute wait before we sat down to get our table. So we went in Sprouts and picked up a few things so babe got some bellinis. They had some like bellinis, which is kind of like a, a morning, kind of like a mimosa type drink. So he got the peach bellini, the mango bellini, and the strawberry bellini. So he got three of these and then um, some lemon butted garlic, lemon, but it, I can't even talk. Lemon butter, garlic sauce, and marinade. So he picked this up. I guess something maybe to marinate some sal salmon or steak. And then they had the pistachios. Buy one, get one free. I was telling you guys when you're doing your detox, this is a great thing to snack on. So he said the sweet chili is really, really good. So we got sweet chili and then just a regular roasted and salted two bags. So that's it. Um, Mookie still hasn't got back from Lakeland, but they won first place. I'm so, I'm so, so proud of 904 Blitz. Make sure y'all follow them on Instagram, 904 Blitz. That's Mookie Step Group. I'm so proud of them. They won first place. This is their second first place win so i'm so 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 proud of him and so proud of the team and shout out to coach key for working those boys hard hard because it is definitely paying off so i'm so proud i'm so proud of my son um but that's pretty much it for this vlog lifestyle lovers they are still in lakeland and it is 11 o'clock at night <laughs> so it's probably about a three hour drive so um, I guess me and babe are gonna hang out until I get a call letting me know that he's back in Jacksonville. Tomorrow I'm going to a comedy show for my girlfriend's birthday. So I'll probably start a new vlog then. Um, so yeah, I'll probably pick the camera up back, back. I'll probably pick the camera up, back up tomorrow. Uh, but that's it for this vlog, Lifestyle Lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have a great week. As always, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, stay encouraged. As I always tell you guys, stay encouraged. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.